Welcome folks. What I have for you today is uh, a short little course on how to determine if you have a bad spark uh, spark plug wire or two in your uh, set. This is uh, the um, spark plug wires. You see there's just two here. There's a good one and there's one that isn't so good. Um, it's out of a mid-90s uh, General Motors minivan with a 4.3 liter V6 or in, if you're in the States it's a 262 cubic inch uh, engine. Uh, I, Usually what happens is when a spark plug wire starts going bad on you is the engine will start making a fuss, it'll start to uh, misfire and it'll just run just ugly, uh, low on power, just not smooth at all. So first thing you do really is uh, just do a visual inspection of these things. You can tell just by looking at them at first glance if they're too far gone. If you, you see cracks in them or anything like that it's time to say goodbye to those and get yourself some new ones. But even if the outside and everything looks in good shape and stuff, you still have to look around inside too. Look in the ends here. And uh, probably won't be able to see much in the video. But look for corrosion or anything that looks uh, not too nice and shiny and new. Anything that looks like it's been eaten up or anything by uh, corrosion or uh, arcing voltage, stuff like that. Now if it passes a visual test, you can, you can move on. We can even do this without the visual test too. Is uh, get a multimeter. Um, the uh, the rating on most spark plug wires is somewhere no more than about eight or ten thousand ohms per inch of cable length. So this one here is about uh, two feet long. So you can just uh, use a multimeter, uh, select the range that'll give you some kind of a reading. I'll put it on the 20k, which is 20,000 ohms maximum, I believe. Um, just to test the meter, you can. You got a nail on one end to get into the deep end of that one part where there's a couple of uh, wires in this plug set that have these long extension bits on them, whereas the other ones have angled uh, fittings on them, just like the other end. So in order to get in there, just got a common nail. I shined it up with a bit of sandpaper, and uh, just to check your meter, you just short out the two terminals. You got it on the 20k ohm setting, it's, and it's it's doing something there. It's, you can see the. The figures changing so you know that part of it's good so we'll take the first test wire to the first wire to test rather and you just insert a probe in there make sure you're getting some contact and the nail goes in the deep end it's connected to the alligator clip on the other end so we're getting a reading there and it looks like it's a little over 6,000 ohms and so we know that one's probably good another thing you can do too to test wires is to wiggle and jiggle them sometimes you'll have an intermittent connection in there and if you see the meter start to move on you there's a good chance that you have a, a bit of an intermittent connection inside the cable. Now on to this other one. This other one happens to be the one that was giving me trouble. It happens to be a number one spark plug wire. This set here has actually got the numbers uh, printed on them for each cylinder it's supposed to go to. They're all different lengths so they all have to go to a different uh, spark plug in the engine. So we'll just um, <coughs> excuse me, hook this one up and as you can see that meter's not moving, it just stays on the number one when there's there's no activity. So I'm keeping my hand off that to make sure I'm not part of the the measurement. Uh, wiggle and jiggle, it's pretty dead. You can move this particular wire around anywhere you like and it won't trigger any kind of a reading on the meter there. And just to be sure you can go back to the other wire that we knew that we just tested was good. Uh, just put the probes back in there, make your connection. There you go, right away. You see, we've got um, we've got a reading there, just over 6,000 ohms. So that's uh, that's a way you can determine using a multimeter, one that'll that'll have uh, ohms readings on it, and uh, go through the whole set. There'll there'll all be different uh, readings because of the length of the wire, um, and like I say, it's so many ohms per foot of uh, wire length. So there you ha have it for today. Just uh, a quick and easy way to check your spark plug wires if something's giving you trouble. Um, like I say, don't for, don't forget when you're taking these readings to bend the wire uh, near the ends and all over the place. And if you you get a, a reading that's intermittent, then you know there's there's a problem right there. So if you're getting solid readings, you could probably go ahead and if they all read good and you you moved them around and they didn't move uh, any anywhere on the meter reading then there's a good chance the plug wires may still be good and it might be another problem you're facing and trying to track down and getting your uh, your engine to run smoothly again so that's it for today folks 
have yourself a nice day and uh, bye for now.